So we're going to have some fun with creating our little four-sided die. Start, create yourself a new part, and there you go. Eventually, eight years later. Do -do 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 -do. This is apparently quite complicated. It's not good. Part. Make sure you go to your options, check your document properties, we're going to make sure we're in millimeters, we are, sweet, alright. So we're going to start off, pick a plane, it doesn't really matter which one, right click it, sketch, and sketch a polygon, polygon. I want a three-sided polygon, which is also known as a triangle. Um, and we'll go like that. So, okay. Sweet. Got myself a fabulous little polygon. Now, I want this side to fit escape or for this sake. Alright. I'm going to edit the sketch. Alright. I want this side to be. Ooh, ooh. So, okay. That's important. See how that's like this? That's saying that with this angle, I want that length, so that's kind of like a hypotenuse. Um, so if I leave it like that, look at what happens. It's not controlling the length of that side, it's controlling the leg of, I guess, the triangle, if you kind of picture it there. So that's your right triangle. It's saying that that leg of that right triangle needs to be 1.24, which is not what we want, so I'm going to delete that. Um, for the dimension, make sure that it comes out like that. Okay, so you might have to play with it. See, this is saying I want the side of the triangle to be this. This is saying I want that actual link there to be this length. So I'm going to make it 20.34. I can hit F, and that'll kind of fill up the screen theoretically. If I hit Escape, that'll get rid of my uh, funny little cursor thing. I can scroll the wheel and mouse wheel it. So now I can select this one. If I select the, or hold down the shift key, I can select all of these. Up in the little hot button or hot tip thingy, whatever you call it, I can say make them equal. Cool? Okay. Now, if we say, okay, I can find all my sides, I'm going to exit the sketch. You see how it still has a negative sign there? That means that we're underdefined. So let's go in and edit the sketch and see why it's underdefined. See, it rotates. So it's an underdefined sketch. So Pretty much what we just need to do is arbitrarily pick a side. I'm going to pick this one, and I'm going to say make this one horizontal. So this side will always be horizontal. Now I can't move anything. The sketch is fully defined. I can exit the sketch. And see the little minus sign went away, so we're fully defined. I'm going to go ahead and save it so I don't do anything silly. Um, I'm going to call this my text. My Now, let's see, what do we want to do next? Ah, okay, let's Google stuff. Basically, I want to know, my, my goal that I'm going to do for this, see, if I, if I hold down the middle, the scroll wheel, and I move my mouse, it rotates. Basically, I want to put a point right here, and then I want the sides to come down from that point, okay? So I want to know how high does my triangle need to be. So I'm going to Google a pyramid. And, okay, that's probably not helpful. Um, so I'm going to say triangle pyramid. Pyramid geometry. Okay. And so that's probably the picture I want. It's tetrahedron. So you could have obviously Googled tetrahedron if you remembered that word. But if you didn't, that's cool. I'm just kind of trying to take you through the basic process. So the idea is, let's see, the height is going to be square root of 6 divided by 3 times A. Good? All right. So A is the, let's see, oh, edge length A. So if the 
side is a, then I'm going to be that high. So let's go ahead and calculate that. So my side is 20.34. And so that means my height is the square root of 6 divided by 3 times the side. So 16.6075. If you really care about all these digits, you can copy, paste special values, and go from there. Cool? All right, so now we can find a point um, that's going to be that high above what we're doing. So here's my side. So now that I've copied, I'm going to copy, and I can copy that whole thing. If I try to copy it here, it won't let me, which is why I did the paste special value thingy. So here's my height. And let's see, what do I want to do next? I want to figure out how I can pick a point that's a certain distance away from here. Top. Okay. So here's my top plane. If I click on that, see how it's in the middle of my triangle, right above the center point? See, again, I'm, I'm clicking, holding down the center of the scroll wheel, holding down the scroll wheel and going like this. So just rotating it. But you can see that's my top plane. So if you picked, if you sketched on your top plane, one of the planes that you have will go right down the center. So let's go ahead and sketch. Let's make it normal too, so it's kind of straight. And now we want to sketch in this plane. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit by rotating my scroll wheel. So now I want to design a point that is right vertical from the center. So see how whenever I hold right above the line, that little line, I'm pointing at my screen like you can see. But you see that little white line? That means I'm 100% vertical. So I'm going to put my point there. Check. And I'm going to dimension it. And I want to say, I want this distance to be, I'm going to paste, so control V to paste, that height up. Good? Good. Check. All right. Um, what's the sketch? I'm not fully defined. Why am I not fully defined? Oh, because see, it moves. So I guess it didn't take that vertically thing into consideration. Control Z to undo. Um, the movement. So I'll go back into that sketch and I'll say OK. So I'm going to click that point. I'm going to hold down the Control key, click that point. I'm going to say I really want those to be vertical. Click OK. And now it's still doing, it's still got the minus sign, but it's got this little traffic light sign. So I'm going to go ahead and rebuild it. There we go. So now it's fully defined. I'm going to relabel these, right click, feature properties, this is my base triangle, and this is my apex, I guess, ooh, that was a good word, I'm going to put that in the way, apex, okay, alright, so let's see, ooh, I could have done that instead, I'm going to show you something else real quick, you'll be excited, I swear, um, I'm going to edit my apex sketch, you know how I did that in Excel and I copied it over? I totally forgot there was another way to do this. Add equation. And I can go in here and I can say, I can actually type that I wanted the height, that particular height, to be the square root of 6 divided by 3 times the, um, times the length of the other side. Now I have to know what that's called, so let me go check that out. Go look at my base triangle. All right, you see that 20.34? See what it's called? Okay, D1 at base triangle. Cool. So let's go back. Sketch. Edit my apex sketch. I'm going to double click that. Click on that. I'm going to add an equation. And I could say that I want this one to equal the D1 base triangle times the square root of 6 divided by 3. You can say okay. Check it out. So now it's an equation. Why is this cool? Well, first of all, we put an equation in it. Um, second of all, it's cool because in theory, I've never actually tried this before, so now that I'm recording, it's clearly not going to work. So I said 20.34. I'm going to make it 50. So I'm going to make that 50. And now look what happened. Oh. 
see, look, my point is now way up there. Look, it changed automatically because it was connected. Got it? So that's why this is cool. Uh, so I'm going to go back to my base triangle and change that back to 20.34. But by making it dimension driven, see, now the point is by. Um, now that point is again 16.61 above. So that's really useful to use that little equation option. It's kind of fun. Now the last piece that we're going to do, we're going to basically say, okay, I want to, um, what you call, I want to um, connect these points down here, the shape down here at this point. So we want to do a loft, I believe, loft. So our two profiles, we're going to pick this profile here, come on, the base triangle, and then we're also going to pick the point, see look, it's pretty, it already works, um, and I think this is all I want to do, close loft, that sounds like something interesting, I wonder what that is, let's look, we have a closed loft. that then. <laughs> I guess that was a good way to figure it out. Okay, so we don't want to do that, but this is good. This is fantastic, so check. Excellent! And you see, we're, um, got ourselves a nice little D4 here. Mm. That was fun. Save it. And don't forget, if you need to create an STL, save as, pick STL, yes, and we're good to go.